Thank you for joining us. I'm Nick Lugo. And I'm Angela Brower. It all started about 1, 11 o'clock last night. IMPD responded to a shots fired call along Mirabel Road. Yeah, and again, that's where detectives found nine people dead. That includes the gunman accused. Uh, police believe he took his own life here. IMPD not willing to say right now how many people were hurt just yet, although they said several went to the hospital by ambulance. At least one person is now in critical condition. Detectives have not yet identified the person responsible for this, nor have they pinpointed a possible motive. Police are asking for the public's patience right now as they investigate. And you know, in the Indianapolis Metro Police Department, the officers responded. They came in, they went in and they did their job. And a lot of them are trying to face this because this is a site that no one should ever have to see. But we as Indianapolis members need to come together. We need to support each other and understand that there are going to be people out there that are going to be emotionally upset and we need to support them. If you are still looking for a loved one who may be work, working at that facility, family members have gathered at the Holiday Inn Express nearby. You can go there uh, right now. They're desperately waiting for answers as well. Uh, again, if you have a loved one there, that's that's where they're meeting. And that's also where we're finding CBS 4's Darius Johnson. Darius, we know you've been there uh, for hours now speaking with people. I'm sure there are a wide range of emotions going on right now. Nick, you can only imagine the emotions have crescendoed for the last couple of hours as many people simply don't know if their loved ones are dead or alive right now. Many of them hoping for the best and, you know, just continuously praying at this time as well. Now, you know, one thing that police have said, you know, within the last hour is that some of those workers some of those workers have been able to connect with them. Now, I will tell you within the last couple of minutes that there were family and friends who began to rush to the hotel after the shooting. Once police advised them that this is where people would reunite, you could see a lot of that in that video. There were at least 100 people in the beginning this morning, and that number has dropped significantly as many people have been able to make contact with their loved ones once again. Now, again, workers cannot have their phones on the floor. Many of them had their phones in their lockers at the time, which is why so many family members were coming to this Holiday Inn, which is at 8555 Stansted Road, Stansted Drive, rather. So if you have a loved one that you're looking for, they are asking you to come here. Now, I did speak to one employee who was in a different facility at the time. His family rushed here with hopes to reunite, not knowing if he was OK. Take a listen. By the time we go out to break, I'm about to get my cell phone in the lockers. We're like, you can't even go to the lockers. You got to stay in the break room. We got an active shooter. We don't know what's going on. I'm just happy he's alive. I'm happy. He's okay. Um, again, like you said, condolences to everybody else's families. Now, as we come back out here live, you can easily see that there are uh, there aren't as many people out here as there were earlier this morning. And the other thing that I do want to say, you know, there are a lot of people who are here just simply still trying to figure things out. I can tell you it's really emotional. There's one father who continuously is pacing back and forth and he's asking us questions and pretty much in tears. He said that he knows that his son was working tonight and his son works inside the facility. So he's just praying for the best right now. And it's just very emotional as you sit here and you look at the looks on some of these people's faces. And, you know, you also have many people with tears of joy and sighs of relief as they find out that their loved ones are OK. Now, I can go ahead and tell you that there are members of the American Red Cross inside assisting many of these families. There are also chaplains on the scene as well trying to pray with these families. After I just stepped outside of the building for this live shot, I can tell you there are about more than a dozen people that are still inside hoping to learn more. And there are workers who are being cleared, who are beginning to come here and reunite as well. We will continue to keep you all updated with the very latest from this scene. But once again, if you are searching for your loved one that may have been inside that workplace this morning or last Last night, you are to come to 8555 Stansted Drive right here on the south side. It's the Holiday Inn. We are live on the south side of Indianapolis. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 4 News.